Hello beautiful people, my name is Keith Simone and if you are new here I want to say welcome and if you're returning I want to say welcome back girl. Today I'm going to be doing a Sephora haul. These are going to be everything that I got in the Sephora sale y'all. I could not wait. When I tell y'all I cannot wait. I cannot wait for this package to come. This is gonna be my first time doing a video like this, which I don't really understand why I've never done a video like this before because I'm very much into skincare, very much into makeup. If you are interested, just wanted to get some info, maybe some recommendations on what you should be getting from the sale and also just know what I got. If you're just curious to know what I had in my cart, then just go ahead and stay tuned. I'll be doing some recommendations from things that I love, from refills that I got, and then I'm also trying some new things. So super, super excited about that. If you are interested, make sure that you stay tuned. Go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And also do not forget to hit that subscribe button, girl. Turn on your post bell notifications so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video. And also don't forget to go ahead and slide on over to Instagram and TikTok and follow me there, underscore Key Simone. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get into this haul, baby, because this box literally just got dropped off like 20 minutes ago and I'm ready to bust it wide open. Not like that, but I'm ready to bust the box wide open. So let's just get into the video. Okay, y'all, so like I said, this box literally just got delivered about to bust this thing open so i got some new things that i've never tried before but i also got some refills of the normal things that i use um i was kind of holding out on um buying the things that i normally get just because i really wanted to sell and when i tell y'all y'all look at this box y'all hold up hold up thumbnail okay 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 i'm officially as of last year, I'm officially a Rouge member. So I got the early access. So yeah, let's let's just go ahead and dive into these products because I'm super excited. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with my actual recommendations, things that I have used before that I can strongly recommend to you, things that I love, things that I repurchased multiple, multiple times. So the first thing that I have here is this Skin Fix Resurface Plus. This is a glycolic renewing body scrub. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I get um, a little bit of back knee, like on the back of my shoulders like a little bit of hyperpigmentation on the back of my thighs from like shaving and stuff like that. This right here is so good for if you want an all over like body scrub, not just to soften and smooth the skin, but to also just lighten those hyperpigmentation, you know, marks from old acne, stuff like that. This is really, really good for your body. Um, this is pre-shower or you can do this in shower and it is a chemical and manual exfoliator. And I really, really love this, y'all. I use this on my days where I'm doing like a deep, deep, deep body like reset skincare all of those things this yeah and it's about to be summertime so we about to have our backs out arms out legs out all of those things so I highly highly recommend checking this out if you have not before and you have some hyperpigmentation that you want to get rid of girl go ahead and get you some of the skin fix it's it's a gym it's a gym okay, so next up for products that I absolutely love are these Touchland Hydrating Hand Sanitizers. So these sanitizers, obviously it's a no brainer because girl, you need hand sanitizer, but they are so cute, so compact. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm, I'm just a girl and I just like cute stuff. Every time I pull out a hand sanitizer like this, or like if people ask for hand sanitizer just because of what it looks like. And I wanna just spray it everywhere I go you know, public restrooms, in the airport, coming out of the grocery store, like stuff like that. So it's super, super convenient and it is super compact and small, very, very small and compact. So you can literally have this on the go anywhere you're about to go and they smell really, really good and they're moisturizing. A lot of hand sanitizers have a lot of alcohol in them and baby, these cuticles, by the way, get into the first set. These cuticles, 
no it's not going to be giving peeled skin and all that other stuff because these are super super moisturizing they still do have alcohol in them but they have like citrus oils a couple of different oils in this um and it also has aloe vera in it so yeah these i mean if anything they're cute you know but they work they're so good keeps my hands super moisturized and clean on the go so we love that okay y'all so the next up is going to be this faded topicals brightening and clearing serum now i know y'all have seen this faded brand literally everywhere the girls are eating it up the girls are loving it why because it's the sh okay it is and um again as i mentioned I do not only have hyperpigmentation on like my back and my shoulders, but I also have hyperpigmentation on my skin because I've always had acne prone skin, always had scars. It don't matter if I pop them, if I don't pop them, girl, they're there. So we love a brightening and clearing serum. And I actually meant to order the eye patches too, because as y'all see, I have very, very much so puffy and kind of like sunken in under eyes. And I've literally had that since I was in middle school i don't know how you have bags under your eyes in middle school i don't know what i was going through as a child but yeah um i meant to order that and since the sale is still going on i'm definitely about to throw that in my cart and actually reorder it probably go pick it up in the store because we need those those eye patches when i tell you yes like i don't know i can actually feel a difference and to be honest i haven't used that many eye patches in my life i don't know why because i always felt like that they didn't work but those eye patches they work and also i don't know what the formula is over there at faded topicals but they really do get it and another thing i know a lot of serums that are supposed to be you know lightening dark marks and stuff like that or they change like the color and the skin tone of your face like you'll have like blotchy skin but i used a whole tube of that before and i have not seen it's as you can see the skin is pretty much even besides my um just normal hyperpigmentation you know stuff that i'm still working on and i have not noticed any blotchiness of the skin any peeling any like redness and irritation and i have really sensitive skin so i highly highly recommend this if you have some uneven skin tone hyperpigmentation stuff like that so definitely get that and most definitely get the eye patch assist you need it okay one of my tried and true again for my acne girls my hyperpigmentation girls but also my 30 plus girls because this is really really good for wrinkles and just preventing those age lines and minimizing those pores which is gonna be the dr dennis gross alpha beta universal daily peels this is her girl so i know this is something that y'all have seen literally everywhere and i promise you this is not something that the girls are hyping up this is truly truly that girl now the one thing i will say is um since it has ahas and bhas in it i don't use it daily even though it says it's a universal daily peel i just feel like this is just a tad bit too strong for me personally to use every day i feel like i would disrupt my skin barrier and actually i want to say because i started using these like two or three years ago and i feel like when i first started using them i did try to do the everyday thing and Mm -mm. won't be doing that again okay it is dangerous it gets wild and dangerous but highly highly recommend those again it helps with making those pores smaller and helping combat those fine lines and wrinkles and those hyperpigmentation marks the next thing that is one of my tried and trues is the super goop every single face watery lotion spf 50 now this has become my favorite and i mean my favorite sunscreen for the face now they also make sunscreen for the body which i love as well but you know i i ain't really been like outside outdoorsies like that yet so i was like we'll, we'll just wait on that we'll just wait on that but baby this is that girl no white cast and it's really really hydrating it doesn't have that super strong um spf smell and for a while i was using the um what is it uh black girl sunscreen but it wasn't super hydrating and to me it was a just a tad greasy so i wanted to venture out and try something new and i think the recommendation or who made me try this not made me try this but more so influenced me to try this was uh the esperanza maria baby she told no lies 
and I'm here to tell you I ain't telling no lies either this is really really good I sometimes I even use this just as a moisturizer because it's that hydrating but no white cast hydrating perfect to go under makeup or just to wear your skin out as it is you will be glowing and I actually just saw that they had um they just came out with some tinted moisturizers so I'm super excited to try those out for summer because y'all know summer is not really giving full face okay summer is not giving full face it's giving wear as little makeup as possible but still look put together and look like that girl so this right here, this brand, Super Goop, I don't know what the formula is. I don't know what they be doing over there, but they're doing it for me, okay? For another one of my tried and trues, we have the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Now, I know, I know y'all know about this already. I know y'all already hit. But if you have not tried it, girl, like, what are you doing? I highly, highly, highly suggest it. This has been my favorite setting powder, I want to say, for like a year year and a half maybe going on two years now but i don't know what took me so long to try this powder but baby this and a powder puff like the um the triangular black powder puffs this this hello 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 and i have um a smaller one they have bigger ones than this i have the um translucent honey uh that is the shade that i am currently using um I get the small one because honestly I don't know why people need to buy the bigger one because you really don't need that much unless you're wearing a full face every day and I don't wear makeup every day but this is it this size container will last me honestly because I'm trying to remember when I got my last one I think it's going on like seven eight months I'm not even gonna hold you maybe six to seven months but this like I said and when I do use it I don't use too too much and it still does the job so highly 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 recommend this if you're looking for a new setting powder baby it just gives such a very like matte yet non-dry look and it definitely brightens and sets really really quickly um and like I said you really don't need that much so highly highly recommend that setting powder girl okay a, another tried and true is what i'm selling you is this nars radiant creamy concealer babe when i tell you i i really really love it this has been my go-to concealer and i think i was influenced to purchase this i started using this maybe like a year and a half ago i have loved this it works so well up under my under eyes and i always do like a base coat of this and then i'll do like a little drop of one of the lighter fenty concealers and it just it's so perfect and also this shade is good for like spot treat spot treating for myself so even if you don't want to wear like a full face of makeup when you spot treat with this and then just kind of blend it out with a sponge or like the tip of your finger like it gives such a natural like you don't have on anything type of look but still give you coverage and I really really love that and they don't call it radiant creamy for no reason because it is very creamy and it keeps my under eyes looking pretty moisturized I do have like a little bit of crow's feet and like creasing in here and it definitely helps to just you know conceal conceal these travel bags that I got up beneath my eyes so highly highly recommend this I highly recommend the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Up next for my next product, this is again a try to true and I'm actually wearing it right now. And that is the Fenty Skin Cherry Treat Conditioning Lip Oil. This is my first lip oil that I've ever used and it's really, really good. I used to only wear it to sleep, but now I wear it like throughout the day. And I feel like that the only time that it really comes off or dries out is if I'm like eating. And of course, that's just because it gets wiped off. But other than that, my lips be glowy, plump, juicy. And it smells really good because I love the Fenty Cherry scent. So this this is a no brainer. I know y'all have heard the girls talk, rant and rave about this lip oil, baby. I mean, just look. Okay, so the next thing that I got that is a tried and true is this Sephora um, retractable brow pencil. It's waterproof. Now this, 
it's just a brow pencil. It's nothing spectacular about it, honestly. Um, it has a spoolie on one side and your actual brow pencil on the other side. Um, I really, really like this. Again, there's nothing super special about this, honestly. I got the color Soft Charcoal and yeah, there's really nothing much to say about the brow pencil, child. Last but not least for my tried and trues, I have this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Multi-Recovery Complex. Now, I know what you're thinking. Girl, that bottle is so small. Like, what is in that bottle? <laughs> Please don't come for me. <laughs> Estee Lauder is so freaking expensive, y'all. I I just can't. So this is actually my first time actually purchasing it, but I've been using this serum for years. And when I say years, I mean years. I got three of them. When I tell you this serum is so good, it's, it just makes your skin so plump. And one day I'll grow up and not be childish and just bite the bullet and invest and get the bigger size. But the only reason why I was able to try these and how I've been using it for so long without purchasing it is because my mom, she be putting me on all the skincare, okay? She be having the skincare on lock and she purchases so often, she always has um, extra sample sizes like this. So I literally have never had to purchase this. I've been using it for, like I said, a year and a half, almost two years, and I've never had to purchase them because she always sends me samples she always sends me the ones that um, she doesn't need like the extra ones because she has all the larger size ones and when I tell y'all the skin be plump I was only using it at nighttime but I have also transitioned to using it during the day because why not and they also have a eye cream um, well a eye gel I would say eye serum that is the same exact type formula but for the eyes and I absolutely love that as well that serum baby you want to start your anti-aging now now not later okay just stepping into my 30s i want to make sure that i'm really really ahead of the anti-aging game because baby we do not have time i know black don't crack but it don't help to you know help it out a little bit okay so i know that that was a lot but those are like my normal tried true things that i was going to purchase anyway but things that i could highly highly recommend because i personally tried them and now let's get into the exciting part for my new goodies so I have been needing some new brushes for a while. Like I have brushes that I've been using and rotating out for the longest time. And it was just time to get a fresh set, okay? I'm gonna be very, very straight up and honest. I do not wash my makeup brushes as often as I should. So it was time for a new set. I just went ahead and got this um, Sephora Complete Brush Set. It has a, it is a seven piece face and eye brush set. It literally gives you everything from the foundation brushes, eyebrow crease, blush, powder, all of the things. So I cannot wait to get into these new brushes. There is literally nothing like using a fresh brush that has never been used and just doing makeup. So I cannot wait to do my makeup, okay? And speaking of doing my makeup, I got some new makeup, finally. I've been using the Lancome Tint Idol Foundation for the longest, I wanna say going on like two and a half, three years at this point, probably like more so like three years. And I have not changed up my foundation in three years. So I was looking to try something new. And since I've been using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer for so long, I was like, why not graduate to the foundation? Here we have our NARS Light Reflecting Foundation and I got this in the shade Medium 6 Aruba. And it says that it improves skin radiance by 61% and more even skin tone by 93%. And again, like I told y'all, I have hyperpigmentation. So anything that is going to help this Skin just to be more balanced and just clear I really really love that so I'm super excited to try this out I cannot wait to do my makeup y'all like I'm I'm super excited Ooh, I cannot wait to give this a try and this comes super highly recommended by Aaliyah's face I think that's the main person that I've seen wear this but yeah we gonna get into it the next thing that is something that is brand new that I have not used but I have seen it all over and people 
buy it. It is the one size on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray. Y'all I have never used a setting spray that was aerosol before so I'm really really excited to try this. The setting spray that I've been using for years and just have not decided to try another one is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray. That has been my girl for years but I was just like why not let's try something new and with the hotter months coming up I want to make sure that my face stays okay now the Charlotte Tilbury she she definitely be keeping me straight but since this said mattifying waterproof waterproof I've never tried a setting spray where on the bottle it said waterproof so I live in Texas and the face be watering okay the the pores the face the nose the forehead the chin everything it be water and so I cannot wait to try this out um ooh, I just opening all this stuff makes me want to do my makeup right now the next thing that I'm trying for the very first time is the milk makeup hydro grip primer y'all I've heard so many good things about this primer and I have no idea why I haven't used it yet I've been using the milk um what's the black one I think it's the pore minimizing or the skin blurring which one of those whichever the one is in the all black like squeeze tube that's the one that I've been using so I was like since I use their brand anyway might as well try something new and I've just been seeing really really good reviews raving about how it really helps your makeup to grip the skin and again we're getting into the warmer summer months and I want my face to be flawless whether I'm wearing foundation or whether I'm just doing a little bit of concealer a little skin tint or anything like that I really really want to see how that works so yeah we're gonna put it to the test in this summer heat baby and speaking of the skin tint another thing that I'm gonna be trying out for the first time is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint and I got that in the shade 15. I think Kyra is the one that I saw that influenced me to purchase this because she has been ranting and raving and literally pretty much only been using Fenty on her skin. Now I did purchase this before but it was the wrong shade but I have not actually used it so I picked a shade that looked a little bit you know closer to mine so we are definitely gonna see what this is giving this summer again for those days that I really just want a nice you know light looking face like no makeup makeup and she said that it's definitely giving no makeup makeup and it's a blurring skin tint so we absolutely love that because my pores are the size of the craters on the moon show next up we have this waterproof lip liner by rare beauty it is a matte lip liner and i have it, have it in the shade wise and honestly i've just been excited to try new lip liners i've literally been using the very same lip liner forever and i just honestly i've never really cared for the things like eyebrow pencils lip liner stuff like that so um i'm super excited to try this because i've seen it all over the place and it's matte so just super excited to try something new i don't think it's gonna be anything like super super spectacular but i love to have like a brown like mauvey outline to my lips because i don't really wear lipstick like that i'm literally a lip liner lip gloss girl i keep it real real basic when it comes to my lips the next first time buy that i have is this fenty butter drop whipped oil body cream oh this smells so good this kind of smells like this smells like the fat water it has like a very very gentle like that same cherry scent that i absolutely love and i only have tried this on in the store and actually not this one specifically i tried the one that has like the cinnamon and the flakes in it my camera overheated so i had to take me a little bricky break but i was talking about this fancy butter drop so um one day i want to say this was way earlier this year like in january um i just you know was getting a gift for a friend's birthday and so i decided to try out the um cinnamon shimmer butter drop um but i just got the regular one because i don't know if i always want that shimmer so i was like let's give the butter drop a try but what i did remember was how shiny and moisturized my skin looked i should have showed y'all a before of my ashy knuckle <laughs> but yeah 
I don't know if y'all can tell that it's glowing. Yeah, okay, y'all can see that shine, period. Mm, and it has that gentle cherry scent that I love. I love the signature Fenty cherry scent, y'all. I cannot wait to get fresh out of a bath, fresh out of a shower and put this on. And throughout the summer, it's like light enough to wear the like flies and stuff probably won't be eating you up, mosquitoes and all that stuff, but just enough to wear your perfume can complement it. Like it smells super, super clean and it feels so good. Like, I don't know, people were saying that this was like greasy or whatever, but baby, I like a little shine, okay? I'm just not gonna put it on the bottoms of my feet or like keep it on the palms of my hand from when I'm touching stuff, but this is perfect for me, so. I don't know, girl. I highly recommend because we, again, it's about to be summertime. Legs is about to be out, back is about to be out, chest is about to be out, and who ain't gonna get caught looking dry and crusty? <laughs> Me. So, super excited about this one. Now, I also got a another body butter because I'm just been wanting to try a new body cream. Well, actually this is not a body butter, it's a body cream. It's by Way, and it came highly recommended by, I wanna say I am Chelsea Janae, or it could have been Kyra. One of the two ladies, but this is the Way body cream in the St. Bart scent, and it is a whipped body cream. So let's give it a smell, because this is one that I've actually never smelled in the store. So this is gonna be a first time scent, first impressions. Y'all are gonna get the first looks. We'll see if it's actually worth the hype and what they say it be smelling like. We shall see. Mm. Mm -hmm. This smells like a candle. This smells like I'm laid out on the beach. Beach bum vibes mixed with spa vibes. Like, that's what this is giving me. And it's a lot of product in here. And I accidentally ordered two of these, so it's gonna last me forever. Like, I got body butter for days now. Let's try it out on the skin. I'm gonna use this arm since I used the other one for the Fenty. Let's see. Okay, so I will say that this is definitely feels just slightly denser, I would say. I don't wanna say denser, not thicker. Maybe it's because I used more of this than the Fenty one to put on. So I won't even say that, but. It definitely feels light and it gives that same like light moisturized feel that the Fenty one gave. But I would say that it's less, less of a shine for sure. It's definitely less of a shine for sure, but it still feels good and it smells so good. Again, this is really gonna complement those spring and summer fragrances because it's so light. But it, it has a little bit more of a scent to it than the Fenty Butter Drop, but it's really light, it's really beautiful. Oh, I love that. I was scared, y'all, because I don't I don't like to blind buy stuff um, that I'm gonna, you know, as far as scent-wise, I do not like to blind buy stuff, but that right there, uh, yeah. What my final purchases from the Sephora sale are these Rare Beauty Soft Liquid Blushes. Now, I have not used any liquid blushes before, so I'm super, super excited to try these. I've had cream blushes and powder blushes, but this is gonna be my first time using liquid blushes. For one, the girl's been eating this Rare Beauty Liquid Blush up. And so when picking a liquid blush, I was like, um, it's going to be this one. And I wanted to get two different colors. I really, really love like that this is a dark mauve color. Um, that would probably be more so for my nighttime. Um, and this one is in the shade Believe. And then I also got the shade Happy, which will be more so for like my daytime, morning time type of deal. And yeah, I'm just super, super excited to try out these liquid blushes. Shout out to my girl. Selena Gomez, I believe this is Selena Gomez's brand. Please don't let me be saying that wrong. The girls, again, have been raving about this, these blushes and I'm like, they're blush, how could they go wrong? My only thing is learning how to work with these liquid blushes. Hopefully they, they work good with my makeup regimen. If not, I don't know, we'll see, but I'm super excited. Like I said, I almost have like all new makeup products over here. So yeah, we're definitely excited about those. And of course y'all know that you get free samples whenever you order. My free sample that I chose 
was the um, Yummy Skin Serum Sisters Ultra Hydrating Duo Ultra Light Glow Serum. And actually, the glow serum, oh no, okay. So they do put the glow serum in here, which the glow serum, I actually have like the full product and I love the glow serum. Like it's a priming glow serum. And so I normally put it on up under my makeup over top of my regular primer, but yeah, love that. But I wanted to try the skin tints as well. Now, the only reason why I didn't go ahead and purchase the actual skin tints was because my mom said that she really didn't like it. She tried it and she said that it was like too watery, too like, I guess, translucent for her. So I was like, mm, I don't know if I'm gonna like it. So I wanted to just see if I did by testing it out. And it says that it's supposed to hydrate and correct, smooth and plump, strengthen and protect. So yeah, I definitely wanna give this a try. Obviously I'm not gonna be able to use all of these, but I'm probably definitely going to be able to use these two middle shades here. So. Yeah, we will report back if we actually purchase this. So yes, y'all, that about wraps up this Sephora haul. This is everything that I purchased from the Sephora sale. You you don't wanna miss out, okay? When I tell y'all, when stuff goes on sale at Sephora, because y'all know, Sephora, you gonna spend a ticket, okay? You are going to spend a ticket in Sephora. So I highly recommend that you go ahead and you take advantage of this sale. Everything that I purchased today is going to be linked down below. That way you can go ahead and check it out. Direct links to what I got, the shades I got, all of those things. So make sure that you do not skip the description box and check that stuff out because the sale is going till April 15th. So you still have time, girl. You still got a little time to go ahead and slide in there and get your little goodies. I'm actually, again, like I said, I'm going to be going ahead and hopping back on the site and getting those eye patches because baby, been having your girl looking crazy looking tired but we made the dean's list period so it's worth it thank you so so much i hope that you all enjoyed and i hope that you got some good recommendations for the stuff that you may be looking for again make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button girl turn on your post bell notifications so that you'll be notified every time i post a new video because i also do vlogs i also do mindset chit chats and i just started a new series with my vlogs called early 30s diary so if this your first time here on the channel girl go check the vlogs out because we be vlogging over here and we you know early 30s and thriving so go ahead and check that out and i just thank you so so much for sharing space with me today and yes i will just see you all in my next video hey,